The past few years have seen increased awareness and a shift in perception around issues relating to mental health, with more and more people speaking out about their own mental health. Well, Skemerson, son, Cry Moon, is a very personal story for Peter Bears. Now, this Afrikaans film was inspired by true events. A young man battling mental illness decides to take his own life. Well, without giving away too much, we joined by Peter Bears uh, in studio to share more on this film. A very good morning to you. Kunjari Mnagat. Ah, nya pila wena njani, baba. Nya jabula uku kwazi sempiwe. It's very nice to be here. Jeez, man, I'm so impressed with the Zulu. You ah? bring my own Zulu to shame, man. Nya funda njalo. Kangani, kangani. Right, now, yeah, your, your own experience with OCD yes. made you to write this movie. Tell us more. Well, I think that mental health is something that uh, is coming to a fore. People are starting to talk about it. I have my own battles with anxiety and OCD more specifically. And I think for a long time, we've seen honesty as people see honesty as weakness or uh, emasculine. Yeah. And I found in my personal experience, I try and own my truth whatever that may, means, okay. you know, and uh, it's been empowering. So I think whatever you struggle with, whatever your challenges are, if you own it, if you're honest about it, you can work at it. True. And um, it's important for me to say that the story isn't 100% autobiographical. I mean, touch wood, but I wasn't on that bridge with all respect to everyone. Uh, but l the, the place where the, the lead character finds himself, that's where I was. And the fact that you wrote the you wrote the storyline, you co-produced it, and you're also in it makes the the message even more concrete. It does, and it's one of those things that the story was really born in my mind, if I can say that, or were born in my life to a great extent. But Skiermerson, um, I think I had to because I'm so in like the part of the whole process. I had to believe everything for every second. Yeah. And I think that honesty comes through in the film Skia Merson. Mm -hmm. I think it's also a movie that transcends. It's, I, I'm, I'm glad that you uh, started speaking Isizulu. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in the movie, Mina uh, Kuluma Isizulu, yeah. Kangane, Kangane. It was just when I started learning. There's English subtitles. And I respect Ngitlo Nipa Bonke Abantu. So I respect the fact that your viewership is also diverse. Sure, and this movie, sure. yes, it's in Afrikaans. It is English subtitles. There's even a bit of Isizulu. But, but everyone a, is catered for. It's not a story about. It's not a story about language or culture or um, all that is obviously in it. But at the end, of it's a, a story of human being, and I think there's a universal language of truth in this yeah. film. So you have this idea, and then you decided to make a movie of it. Did you have uh, perhaps have any difficulties in on whom to approach and who to work with on this film? You know, some people. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I think, you know, there's that cliche about like where there's a will, there's a way. And, you know, when you have extreme determination and motivation, yeah. you will find the way. Um, I even listened to lots of like self-help motivational things too because I had this burning desire. And then a co-producer fell into place. Some funders fell into place. The, the DTI came, um, 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 helped us fund the movie. Sipla, a pharmaceutical company, helped us to, uh, f um, to, to fund the movie. Okay. SADAG came on board. Indigenous Films came on board. Sure. But it started with a burning desire and almost a calling to help people because at the end of the story, at the end of the day, it is a story of hope. Skiermerson does provide the idea that there is always help and hope out there. And I really hope, I really do, of course I want this movie to be successful, yeah. but I hope Skiermerson can help people as it helped myself. Yeah. And how is this production bringing something new to the narrative around mental health as we know it? Well, firstly, I think it's a movie that speaks in emotion. And that's why language is almost not so important to us in this movie. There's very little dialogue. It's a, somebody called it recently a sensual explosion. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm a, as hectic as that sounds, because the visuals and the music is so powerful and immersive. Mm -hmm. um, it really speaks a language of emotion. And I think that within that, there's honesty. I think you feel this film. And I think what it does, and what I hope it does, it, it provides an honest platform for you as a viewer to go and watch this film. And you can go, wow, this is so honest. Maybe I can, maybe I can use this honesty in my own life to look at my own challenges. Maybe I can speak to someone I trust about something that was bothering me, something that I was stressing me out, something that I was feeling anxious about. Mm. You know? mm. And thereby, within honest, I really believe that an honest conversation that 
is a platform to start a healing process. Yeah. It's not the only thing, but it's a start. So who is it targeted at? Who should watch this movie? As cliche as this sounds, and that's why I brought in um, Isis Zulu and it's got English subtitles, yeah. we want to open it, it up. Mental health and humanity is an is a, is a, is a international thing. It's sure. something that transcends so many barriers, sure. you know. So the one thing that we all have in common is the fact that we're human beings. Mm -hmm. And that's what this movie is. So I don't even want to limit it. I don't... It's, it's, with, it's anyone that is ready for honesty. Okay. There's, it's quite interesting. I, I coincidentally realized there isn't one swear word, one piece of nudity, or one piece of violence in this movie, and yet it'll, it is probably the most honest film that you will see. So that in itself, I think, is quite something. It's, it's pure... And it's alive, and yes. Yeah, yeah. We don't have much time, unfortunately. Where can, <laughs> can you can see the forever. movie? Yeah, and uh, when is it showing? Okay, so you can go onto my Facebook page. Okay. That's Pity Buyers. Yeah. There's a list of all the cinemas. It's at select cinemas. Right. Skimmer Son. It's out in cinemas right now. It's fantastic being here. Um, in course, Igubusiise. I have a feeling this is an absolute must-watch. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Eh? Ah. Well, Skemerson is an Afrikaans film starring Peter Beers, which, is once, which was inspired by true events. A young man battling mental illness decides to take his own life. And on his way to jump off the Bluchrans Bridge, he meets his fate. And the movie is out, as just mentioned. You can visit a cinema near you to catch it.